The last thing that we're going to talk about in our discussion of hybridization and formal charge is the carbocation. So a carbocation is the exception to kind of all the things that we've talked about so far. So the carbocation is a positively charged, positive charge on carbon. But the problem is, is that we can't use the same rules that we used for heteroatoms, right? With heteroatoms, we counted the lone pairs, and the lone pairs told us how much charge was on a particular atom. With carbocations, because carbons generally don't have lone pairs, we have a little bit of a different uh, way of getting to charge on these things. So a carbocation is a positively charged carbon atom, and it is a violation of the octet rule. It only has six electrons surrounding the carbon. And so this is, of course, incredibly unstable and reactive. But like I said at the very beginning of this course, right, one of the things about carbon is we know exactly when it is reactive and there are rules that follow how it is reactive. And so this is one of those things. We have this exception to our rule, but carbocations only show up in very specific cases. And so if we know that we are creating a carbocation, we can predict what type of reactivity we're going to see. So what does a carbocation look like? Well, it only has six electrons surrounding it. So this is usually going to be a carbon with three sigma bonds surrounding it that has a positive charge. Three sigma bonds, no lone pairs, right? a positive formal charge because it doesn't have enough electrons. And the hybridization of this carbon is sp2. Because it has only three sigma bonds, the positive charge actually represents an empty orbital. Positive represents an empty orbital. Empty p orbital. And so that orbital is not hybridized. And so that's why it's only sp2 and not sp3, right? So a carbocation is always sp2 hybridized. It's positively charged. It has no lone pairs and three sigma bonds. Right? And so the carbocation, incredibly unstable and very reactive. What we'll see when we start to talk about moving electrons around is that what this does is it makes the carbocation very, very good at what it does. Because it's violating the octet rule, the thing it wants more than anything in the world is to get its octet back. And so it's going to accept two electrons so it can go from being a six electron carbon to an eight electron carbon. And so it's very easy to make a new bond, whether it's a sigma bond or a pi bond with a carbocation, because then it goes from having three bonds to four and it has a full octet again. 